Okay, next we're gonna do is we're gonna install Linux. So we'll go ahead new. We'll call this just Linux. And we're gonna choose other. So actually we're gonna install a Ubuntu. So hit other and the one I downloaded was uh right here Ubuntu 22.04. Point three desktop. And we're just going to change the name to one two you one two hit let's get unintended installation hit next bump the RAM bump the cores just for faster installation, we're gonna get this 200 gigabytes. It's a Ubuntu there. First thing as always, we're gonna make sure we got our setting correct about direction, our RAM, our processor, our network will be NAT network. And that will complete that portion. Open up and get ready to install. All right, we're going to try and install Ubuntu. Not try Ubuntu, but we're gonna install Ubuntu English, English, continue, normal installation. Uh, we do update here. Uh, we're gonna erase the whole entire drive. Uh, this is a virtual drive, so not your actual drive. I'm going to hit continue. We're going to choose your local time area. And the name will be org. And that'd be fine. Org. Actually, we can go or. Or. Organization it can be organization virtual box. The username can be org. So organization is the name org dot virtual box. We're going to choose a password. Make sure you remember your password. Require every time you log in and let it install. Okay, so it finished installing, which is going to have to reboot it. And we're going to hit enter to take out the uh, ISO so we're not consistently running the disk image. Uh, this would be just VirtualBox by itself with the full installation. All right, so we call it organization. Uh, remember your password and type it in. There you go. We have our M12 up and running. We can skip all these. Skip that for now. No, don't send any info. We don't want our location on. We can just skip all these. Uh, and also, as always, we want to go to 
uh, the terminal which is not here so we have to search for terminal or here's terminal and terminal same thing like the Kali you're going to do sudo app update and and sudo app upgrade with a dash y for yes and we're going to type our password and let it update okay so it's almost done updating we're at 98 percent Ninety-nine, and we are done. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna exit out of this. A few things I do is I just remove all these off the shortcut. Um, stop. Quit. We can remove this. We can remove this. Stop. Quit that. We want to remove it from favor. Now we keep the trash bin. I like the terminal, so I like to put the terminal as favor. And that's all I got going on here. All right, we got the update. Uh, now, once we finish the update, we're actually going to install the guest edition so we can make this bigger and smaller. You see this little icon disk that came up? I'll give it a few seconds. Uh, once we already updated, give it a few seconds for it to populate. Uh, if it doesn't populate to install, uh, we can click on it. Give it a second. Alright, it doesn't work. You don't click on it. Let's double click the execution here. Uh, it should be Windows Server add on 64. x86. Should be that one there. Okay, so what we could do also is eject. We're going to eject it out. Eject. Go back up here. Insert this image. It's right there. That don't work. We can CV into mount user mount. Actually, let's do a list. Um, CD and CD back to folder, CD again to root, uh, we can CD into mount, we can actually choose the CD, open a new window, Click this and say open in terminal so it's a media or dot uh, the virtual box uh, which is going to do ls uh, right and we want to do the auto run if you guys didn't see that um, so what I did was dot forward slash and we're going to do the auto run dot sh and that right there will execute the file and you will have to type in your password and it will get the guest edition installed okay system screen is set up cool enter close the window so that right there did it we did an auto run we're good we close this we're actually gonna shut it down we're off and as always we want to make sure we have the most up to date with the guest edition installed and take a snapshot so we're gonna go to Ubuntu here 
going to snapshot, we're going to take it, and we're going to call this update. Or whatever you want to call it. It's going to take a snapshot of it. So we have it on record, so we can always go back to it. Uh, the Linux server, we never did that for that, so we're going to take a snapshot with that too. And call that update. Check Kali is good. We didn't do that with the Windows server, so we're just gonna take a snapshot with the Windows server too and type in update and take a snapshot with it. So now the Windows server is updated. Well, we have a snapshot for each one of these, so we're good with Ubuntu and move on to the next one. It's uh, PFSense.